Impression of Shmi crying. Okay, never mind. There's no escape in it. Impression of Shmi crying because he wasn't invited to O'Malley's kid's birthday party. All right, Shmini, uh, you know, I just had my kid's birthday the other day. She's four. I made the fucking press conference to that. I put my fucking and I stood in her fucking face and I said, happy birthday for two days from now. And not fucking one of you thought where Shmini. This is a bunch of kids hitting a piñata. So you're telling me you brought out the birthday cake? And started playing musical chairs, and not one of you for a second looked around and said, Where's Shmi? <laughs> so you're telling me the music went on, and you guys were playing past the parcel, and and not one of you thought, Where's Shmi? <laughs> not one of you. Oh, good shit. Not one of you. <laughs> not one of you. <laughs> Oh, he's, it is so funny, isn't it? It is so funny. I was laughing so hard at that the other day. Because I, when I first watched it, I skimmed through it like to get the gist of it. And then I gave a take on stream live. When I was watching it back, I was laughing so hard at him, dude. I, I liked it. I think it was... I think he needs more meltdowns. Like, he needs to... You know what I mean? We need more of this. People are saying, get him off the pod. I'm like, dude, this is the funniest moment on a Sean O'Malley podcast maybe ever. <laughs> You know, <coughs> so you guys were watching these kids play Marco Polo and not for a second thought to yourself, Where's Schmitty? I texted you, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, um, impression of Ian Gary at a Diddy party. No, better than that. Well, can I come in? That's the Ian Gary one. Let me tell you this. So you guys are all baby oiling up and chasing each other around on a slip and slide and getting your fingers in each other's butts and not for one second thought, where's Schmitty? <laughs> oh, great stuff from Schmitty, dude. You guys bought a lifetime supply of baby oil and not for a second did you think, where's Schmitty? I texted you, I love you. <laughs> Schmitty at P. Diddy's uh, defendant in, in the court right there. Not for once did you think, where's Schmitty? <laughs> I fucking stood in his face and risked my fucking life for you guys. And I told him, fuck you. And he's grabbing the mic. That's so good, dude. <laughs> Sorry, the Schmitty jokes are so many. I've, I've got to read these donos, though, and get them out of the way first. Someone just tell me to do Schmitty during 9-11, and I want to do it now. <laughs> so you guys were just going to hijack these jets and fly them into the Trade Center, and not one of you thought, where's Schmitty? Sorry. Um... Schmitty wasn't invited to the moon landing and he basically made the moon landing, yeah. yeah. And he stood in Neil Armstrong's face and said, fuck you. Schmitty mugs you IRL. He is taller than me, yeah. Good for him. Thank you for the $2, Louie boy. But I'm built like a linebacker. You ain't hit Tim Welch and Joe Riggs talking about it, dude. They saw the traps. Um, impression of Schmitty crashing out because he thinks Sugar Sean took his Grasso feet picks. I sent you a message and said I love you, and I was going to run up here and give you a hug, but I saw those pictures missing. Sorry. Impression of Schmitty crying because his mum won't buy him Hot Wheels. I made this fucking family famous. I don't know. Thank you for the $5. I don't know where to go with a Hot Wheels one, mate. Impression of Nate Diaz reacting to Schmitty's rant if they were friends. So you guys were smoking weed and acting like two-year-olds and not for one second you thought, where's Schmitty? Hold up. <laughs> this guy's fucking gay. I don't know. Some shit like that. Hold up. <laughs> uh, damn, Patty. Holy sh Damn, Patty. Holy shit. You didn't think about Schmitty? <laughs> Bobby Green. Holy shit. <laughs> 
Stop the Shmee stuff. It's so funny and it's going to make me do it too much. Impressionist Shmee interrupting the hit on Saddam. All right, we're going to go through the door right now. Uh, sure. Uh, hold on. Before we break through this door, clear the airwaves real quick. We're going to go in there. We got Saddam Hussein on the bed, but there's a giant round figure in the corner of the room. I don't know what it is, but you... uh. You make sure you identify that target before we go out there. It looks like it could be a security guard for this guy. So we're busting through the door. <laughs> there he is, taken down. You guys were planning on killing Saddam Hussein and not for one second thought, where's Schmitty? Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for the $5. The way he pushed the mic away after every point. And that dropped about it. He made was comical and seemed like a child talking back to their mother. Peak entertainment. Dude, it was so funny. That, yeah, that is so funny, dude. <laughs> and not for one second. Oh, it was so good. Shmitty mad at Anne Frank. She blows her cover. <laughs> She's writing on her diary. You were just going to hide up here and not invite and not... Not for a second did you think, where's Schmitty? Oh no, when the Germans bust in, we have found her. You guys were looking for Anne Frank, but not for one second did you guys think, where's Schmitty? I was hiding in the kitchen. <laughs> no, you guys, you guys, have, you, know, you guys just didn't even. God, sorry, the Schmitty thing is just so funny to me. We're going to ruin the joke dead in about one stream, but it's, it's all good. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. <coughs> oh, no, not again. Impression of Schmitty getting invited to Jim Jones's cult mass Kool-Aid suicide. I don't know. So you guys were all going to kill yourself, but not for one second. Did you think, where's Schmitty? Sorry. Impression of your live reaction when Umar... Someone clipped this, by the way. Because this is funny to me. I want to watch this back sometime. Schmitty left out of the gangbang. So you guys were just going to run a train? After I made the fucking press conference? Tim seems to have a lot more respect for you this time around. Yeah, I think he wasn't sure what to think about me on the first few uh, appearances. But... um. I'm Hey, turns out getting viewers uh, changes people's opinion on you. You know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> uh, Shmi doing tricks on it for sugar. I loved you. I know, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a hug. <laughs> Shmi to Sean what Molly is to Paddy. Not that level. I'm sure they're boys. You know what I mean? They, they chill out. They have fun. They smoke a bit of Swede. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just bully Schmitty, but I guess we're making Schmitty a thing now. So this is actually pretty good for him because he does have his own channel on that. So I'm sure it'll be all right. You know, keeping him in the, in the thing. And to be fair, it has taken all of the heat off of O'Malley, is it not? O'Malley's like now acting like he didn't lose, which I'm just like, we'll get into that maybe in a video itself. But, uh, you know, just saying. He has kind of taken some heat off O'Malley. I wouldn't be wouldn't be surprised. How did he find Schmitty? They were playing video games together, and uh, it was before O'Malley was in the UFC, and he, he was his uh, video game friends. Which is fucking lucky draw, huh? You randomly get into O'Malley's fucking uh, lobby once, make him laugh a few times, and he's like, "Yeah, let's play. Let's play, bud." Fucking seven years later, he's the world champ. I'm insane. Was it while they were in the UFC? I thought it was just before. I thought it was while it was on a contender series or the regional scene. I think it was. Oh, oh my God, there's so many, man. Schmitty is to Sean what Molly is to Pat. Impression of Trump watching Schmitty meltdown. <laughs> what a loser this guy is. What a dweeb. He's got autism. Of course. What a loser. Impression of Schmitty finding out about MVP's dad. So you were just going to do that to all 70 of those girls? No, I'm joking. No, let's calm down. Schmitty, a thing before this, first time on my radar. Yeah, he's been around the O'Malley circle the whole time, yeah. If, like, since the start of O'Malley's YouTubing stuff. Impression of Schmitty hearing about your gay thoughts. I don't have gay thoughts. Impression of Schmitty after not getting invited to Sean's funeral. So you were just going to die? 
And not for one second are you going to even reply to my fucking text. I fucking messaged you just screaming at a coffin. I fucking messaged you. And you just... <laughs> A uh, Ouija board spells out, I was busy, and he goes, no, no, no. Schmidt, he left out the soggy biscuit game. So you guys were all going to come on a biscuit and not invite me? Sorry. Thought that you should ask them about using their gamer tags. No, I actually, uh, God, I'm far behind. I actually uh, did that podcast before I even made the video yesterday. I did it before. I did it the day before. So I hadn't thought of that yet. You know what I mean? So you guys were going to go to the school in trench coats with guns, and you didn't even think for a second, where's Schmitty? Impression of Schmitty asking John Jones what he's doing walking through the streets of Albuquerque alone at 3 a.m. Are you fucking gay or something? I, I don't know what to do with that. Impression of Schmitty finding out the gang had a succulent Chinese meal without him. So you guys were just going to eat a fucking dog and not for one second? Impression of Schmitty left out of the cat barbecue. All right, dude. No. So you Haitians were just going to walk through Springfield. Uh, impression of Connor inviting O'Malley to a party on his yacht, but now fat chicks here. Yeah. <laughs> and Schmitty finds out. No, dude, stop. You coming on the party, me? Yeah, sure, bud. No fat chicks here. Yeah. Don't be bringing that Schmitty on the fucking board, mate. We'll fucking sink. Schmitty impression when Jesus comes back to earth. You were just going to commit the rapture and not invite Schmitty? I, it's just dead now. We have killed it now. Impression of Connor doing a Schmitty impression. Me. I'm fucking fat, yeah? I don't know. <clears throat> Pod overall, but why'd you keep going at Tim? I know. I went at him twice, so keep going at him is a bit of a fucking push. But yeah, I know, yeah. But you know, it was a talking point. And he brought it up to me as well. So yeah, Tim felt bad too. Now we're cool, dude. We're cool. I hope that people get the UK shit talk because some of them do feel a bit offended by it. I hope they understand that it's all good natured, you know? UK humor is just shitting on each other, basically. Not in a true Geordie way, but like, you know what I mean? Impression of Schmitty not being invited to us, dude. Enough of the Schmitty thing now. Sorry. You were just going to slap your wife and not invite John Jones? Why does no one ask how Schmitty? Impression of Schmitty crying about not being a... No, dude. <laughs> not being invited on Noah's Ark. You were going to get all these animals two by two? And you weren't even going to invite Schmitty? There's even w only one elephant. Schmitty not invited to Sean's lady's gynecologist. You were just going to look at her pussy and I'm not? You didn't for once think, where's Schmitty? <coughs> <coughs> Impression of Garn laughing at Ghibli choking on a chicken bone. Oh, fucking I'm dying or not? <laughs> they give it the five dollars. That's Garn's laugh. Um, I backed up. I backed up my shit talk and told Marab and Aljo to fuck off to their faces. Thank you for the five dollars, dude. It was a good time. Likelihood that Schmitty would blow Sean if asked to. What do you guys think? One through a hundred. How likely is Schmitty to literally suck O'Malley's dick when they're alone together if he was asked to? I'm giving it a good 75, 80%. <laughs> Go MMA, you say the wrong thing and I can neutralize a source of your income in a snap of the fingers like that. You little leech parasite human. Add that to the outro of your fucking video. <laughs> 